Hoffman's Hot Seat. I'm Tom Hoffman with One to One Media. Joining me today is Scott Ulrich, Chief Marketing Officer at Responsus. Today we'll be discussing best practices in cross-channel campaign marketing. Scott, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Tom. I appreciate it. Scott, how is marketing changing? Clearly, I think marketing has changed forever, and I think the reason why marketing has changed forever is that consumer behavior has changed forever. If you think about yourself as a consumer, think about how often you actually read a newspaper, think about how often you actually pick up your physical phone. Those are just not behaviors that we're, we're doing anymore as consumers, but at the same time, on the flip side, if you really think about how often you're using email to communicate, think about how scared you get when you leave your smartphone at home, consumer behavior has changed, and as a result, channel power and preferences have change. If you think about historically, the killer outbound channels used to be around TV, radio, and direct mail for marketers and with the goal of really driving people to the killer inbound channels, which really used to be around the call center or used to be about the store. But those channels won't go away, but if you think about the channels that consumers prefer today, these in our more interactive channels, email, mobile, social, the web, the killer outbound channels are going to be more and more around email, and they're going to be about mobile. Inbound channels that they're going to be driving towards are going to be more and more about the website and about the call center. And clearly, what you're seeing is that marketing change forever, and and it's being really driven by the consumer behavior changing forever. So the end result of all of this is that our jobs as marketers are, are changing truly forever because we need to be thinking about how to execute across these emerging channels that consumers are actually preferring to be communicated to. So then how are marketers adapting to the changing market? Yeah, I think it's a big challenge. I think you're you're seeing a lot of conversations and thrusts around social media, which has obviously been a new channel that's clearly emerged. And I think that what cross-channel marketers need to think about, there's kind of three big buckets. There's a lot of people talking about it, which is this idea of paid media, owned media, and earned media. And uh, you could call that paid marketing and owned marketing and, and earned marketing. And I think it's a good concept for marketers to be thinking about, which is, hey, where are you spending money to talk to an audience? Where are you actually owning media? Where are you building your own database of customers across email, mobile, social, and the web, and these other channels where you can talk to them? And then who are the customers that you're actually talking to that are starting to refer your company to others? And so there's this new concept across these kind of three buckets. And I think the leading marketers are starting to kind of prioritize and capture the amount of marketing spend that they're doing. And, and so I think the key thing that cross-channel marketers are starting to do is start thinking about how do they actually start capturing permission because if you want to start to market to consumers through these key emerging interactive channels like email, mobile, social, and the web, in most cases they require permission to market to them. And so I think there's this whole emerging piece around permission and, and kind of this own marketing because if you want to start marketing to customers across the life cycle and you actually want to do it in a very systematic way, you need to be able to increase the amount of consumers that you have permission to to market to these channels. Otherwise, you're going to be spending most of your money on paid marketing. Interesting. What are some steps that marketers can take to develop a more comprehensive view of their customers based on their interactions with them across multiple channels? That's a terrific question. I think it's actually the most important question that marketers need to think through. A lot of people think about what technology they need and what data they need, and I think that's a really an important step. But the very first thing you need to do is you need to map out the customer life cycle. So you need to think about from paid marketing, where are we taking those customers? Are we taking them to the website? Are we taking them to the store? And once we get there, what information are we capturing from them? What data are we getting? So we're in a cross-channel permission capture world. So how are we capturing email, mobile, social? How are we getting them to follow us on Facebook and Twitter? Then we need to think about the conversion life cycle. So how do we actually market to someone that hasn't purchased with us yet? And what's the right types of programs that we want to market to that consumer? So it might be a welcome program if they just signed up for your mobile alerts. It might be a browse program based on what they're browsing on the website. It might be a, an abandonment program if they abandoned a mortgage application or poor abandoned you know, a shopping cart on the website to try to drive that consumer to convert for the first time. And once they convert, how do we actually get them to keep repurchasing? So what are the things that are going to drive a second purchase, like smart transactional programs and upsell programs? And, and then it goes beyond just trying to get people to repurchase. You actually have to start creating stickiness within your brand. So how do you do things like alerts? So if you're an airline, how do you promote service alerts to tell people if your flights are on time? How do you actually get people to rate and review the products and actually contribute content that can be leveraged not only on the website, but also to get them involved and, and more ingrained with your brand? And then also, more importantly, start to get them 
to refer your products to others. And I think the next step is actually how you think about consumers that haven't purchased within a particular time window, this whole kind of win back part of the life cycle, and how do you actually get that consumer, I mean, what are the right campaigns and programs to get that customer to buy so you don't have to actually go back and spend paid advertising or marketing to get them back into the life cycle. And I think the last thing is, as marketers, we really need to be thinking about permission capture and retaining that permission, because if we lose permission, we're not going to be able to market to consumers through these more cost-effective interactive channels like email, mobile, social, and even on the website, and even things like display. We're going to, it's going to require us at least permission or, in that case, a cookie for us to be able to deliver content in a very personalized way to the consumer. To learn more about relationship strategy, visit www.one2onemedia.com.